Welcome back, fellow citizens of JAR, to Darren for Super President. This is the show in which we try to build our own country, take over the entire universe, and fix all of the universe's problems. If that sounds like something you think you might like, please hit that subscribe button down below to be counted as a citizen and to join us on our path to glory. Animals are lovely and I do enjoy them. Everything from a cute kitty cat to a tiny ladybug. Across the glorious nations of the world, many countries decide to say this. This animal represents us in every single way. We need a national animal. But first we need to go over all the other national animals of the world. See what's out there already. So according to Wikipedia, 74% of countries have designated at least one animal symbol to recognize globally this is our animal. And of all the countries of the world, 37%, that in includes some of the first number, have designated more than one. Meaning, if we like, we can come back later and say, I, I want that animal too. <laughs> There's a lot of cats, birds, dogs, and then some mythical bits. And that's pretty much most of them. Now, if you go alphabetically, starting off, you get some pretty great options. Afghanistan has the snow leopard, and Algeria has the fennec fox. Two amazing creatures that I love very much, and they're both very good boys. There's gonna be a lot of overlap, so we'll get out some of the more interesting ones. Antigua and Barbuda has the hawksbill turtle, something I appreciate because it says a lot about the country. And it's not only, a t it's absurdly specific kind of turtle too, to be like, not only do we like turtles, I like, I like this one in particular. Australia, of course, having kangaroo and emu, two Australian things. I'm surprised koala is not also on that list, but koalas are effectively useless creatures that do almost nothing and barely survive, like pandas. <laughs> but not as famous, so what do you do? Bangladesh has three different ones, my favorite wish being Illish, mainly for the picture they have on Wikipedia, because it looks more like a national food than it does a national animal. Belarus having the European bison, something strong, like the proud buffalo we used to have here in North America before some stuff happened. We won't go into that history but I appreciate it when I do see bison that do exist. That's good. Belize having both a toucan and a tapir. The wonderful things you might think of when you're thinking of the new kid that shows up in class on the TV show Arthur, which is apparently has never been canceled and is on season a million, so. That's a fun fact of the day. <laughs> you don't even need to hit the sea countries before you hit the first dragon of Bhutan, the Druk. I think it's, I'm not gonna pronounce anything uh, that's not super white, very good, so, so sorry. <laughs> Canada's national animal is the beaver, but, <laughs> but there's also listed a national horse, <laughs> which is the Canadian horse, because, <laughs> because what other kind of horse would you want as the national horse in Canada other than a Canadian one? I'm sure somebody is offended by that, but I... <laughs> China having the Chinese dragon, giant panda, and red-crowned crane. Three things that I actually think are really cool. China I actually really like the national animals of. Costa Rica having several, but my favorite being the West Indian manatee. Not any regular sea cow. The sea cow of our people from our area in the West Indian. Yeah, that's us. That's the one we want. <laughs> I love manatees, so this is very good. The more I look down this list as well, there's a weird number of national butterflies. I don't know who started it, but I'm not mad, I'm just very interested. There's a whole, there's a whole group of people in this world that are into things that I don't even think about on a daily basis. Also, there's a distinction between different kinds of ladybugs, or ladybirds as this list says, that are claimed by separate countries. I love this, and I don't know why. France's national animal, by the way, having the Gaelic rooster, they just commit to saying chicken. But, but only men. <laughs> Female chickens don't count, apparently. Another note, many people like having lions as national animals, which I'm fine with, but like, make it fire breathing or something. S spice it up, there's a lot of lion on this list. Be like Greece, who has the dolphin and the phoenix, magical creatures for two entirely separate purposes. One of these is crazy. One of these doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm also loving that Hungary's is 
probably mythical. The Tarul, I think it's called. India also having a wonderful showing of peacocks, snakes, the first snake I've seen on this list, elephants, tigers, oh my. I feel bad for Meridius, Meridius, however you say that country, as, as their national animal is the dodo, which This goes to say a lot about humans, doesn't it? <laughs> a lot of eagles on the list, too. Not quite an eagle. If you go to New Zealand, there's the kiwi. Not the fruit, the bird, the wonderful bird. I like New Zealand's as well. It's on the funny animals list, which I appreciate. Papua New Guinea with the MVP of dugongs. Like a dolphin, but very much less graceful and so much funnier. They're do great. <laughs> Among other things, I love that Russia's is a bear. It's just very Russian. <laughs> and I'm from Canada, we have bears here, but I still feel it's more Russian. <laughs> Britain with a bulldog. There's a lot of dogs on this list, and cats on the- People like dogs, cats, and birds a lot. Except Scotland, they like unicorns. <laughs> so now that we've been privy to this list, we need to really crack down. I think we should get something interesting, not quite seen. Maybe real, maybe not real. Something that can survive anywhere. Should we do something like a tardigrade, lowly, fantastic, can survive in many places? Or should we really crack into some really just bizarre animals? Or just go like a house cat? I need to know, let me know what you think. And on Monday, we'll go over a one, uh, maybe two if I can't decide, possible national animals for our glorious country of Jar. Soon to have animals. So this has been your super presidential candidate, Darren, signing off for Saturday, saying, welcome to Jar. Jar takes all kinds. You are family now. Please join us this week and every week. We go up every single Saturday and Monday. Check the description down below for some links to some fun things, and I will leave you, as always, with our viewer submitted motto for JAR, which is, we are JAR. If you love JAR, you'll love us. See you Monday. And this episode is brought to you by Luke and Rachel. Two, well, they're human. They're not, but they're kids, so they're not national animals, but they're, National, they're national in my heart. <laughs>